So, looking at the bird, this is going to be true for all birds. This is a chicken in particular. First, we're going to look at the eye here. The eye, this whole socket, is called the orbit. Specifically, this little ring is called the sclerotic bone or the sclerot sclerotic ring. Okay. Next, we are going to look at the furcula. The furcula is the wishbone, which is right here, the furcula. And the furcula is going to articulate with the procoracoid, which is this bone right here. Okay, procoracoid, going caudal to the procoracoid, laying alongside the ribs here, it's best from this angle, is the scapula. This is the scapula right here. Okay, after that we're going to have the keel of the sternum, looking to the front, this is where the breast muscles are going to attach, with Charles. Next we will look more at the cuddle in we have the femur here okay at the end of the femur we're gonna have the patella just like we've seen in other skeletons next moving down right have the fibula and you can see the fibula gets increasingly small and ends up fusing with this bone which is the tibiotarsus sometimes they refer to just this bottom part of the tibiotarsus and this top part of the tibia however you can call the whole thing the tibiotarsus okay leading down we're going to have the tarso metatarsus right here okay the metatarsals are all kind of glued together on this one, but it's all of these in between here, in between the metatarsal metatarsus and the phalanges. Okay, counting the digits of these phalanges, we're gonna have digit one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, moving up, the tail right here, this very last part of the tail is gonna be called the pigo style. These are just gonna be caudal vertebrae right here, but this is the pigo style. Next, we're gonna have the sin sacrum. This is also very eminent in all birds. You can see this where it fuses here with these hip bones. Okay. We can our way up to, we're gonna see the humerus here. Okay, humerus. All right, and our humerus is gonna articulate, articulate with the radius, the ulna, just cranial to the radius. We're gonna have what's called the radiali. It's a little bone right here, radiali. And then underneath here, for the ulna, we're going to have the ulnary, which is this bone right there. Next, we're going to look at the digits. This whole region here uh, are called the carpometacarpus, this region right here. So first, we're going to be looking at digit 1 with phalanges 1 and 2. Digit 1, phalanges 1 and 2. This is also called the alula. Okay. Next, we're going to have metacarpal 3 is the thin one. Metacarpal 2 is a little bit thicker. Next, we're going to have third digit with phalanx 1, this little guy. Third digit phalanx 1, second digit phalanx 1, second digit phalanx 2. And that is the avian skeleton.